Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, friends of Japanese art prints. Well, my name is Dieter von Schuler, and I am the owner and manager of the Artelino Company. And my small family company sells Japanese art prints in weekly online auctions. And we produce uh, these videos always centered around Japanese prints, focused on Japanese prints on sometimes a weekly basis, sometimes on an irregular basis. Today I want to present to you a modern artist active during the second half of the 20th century. His name is Mori Yoshitoshi. He was born in 1898 and he died in 1992. And Mori Yoshitoshi was the master of Kapatsuri. Well, that's what's so special about him. What is Kapatsuri? That's a special Japanese printmaking technique, which is uh, comparable, similar to what the Americans call stencil prints, stencil printmaking. But it's something very Japanese, Japanese. Mori Yoshitoshi graduated from Kawabata School of Fine Arts, but he did not start as a um, as an artist of the high arts. He worked uh, nearly all his uh, working life as a textile designer and dyer of kimono fabrics. Expensive kimonos, of course. And Mori Yoshitoshi, he was nearly 60 years old when he made his first art print. Mori Yoshitoshi is regarded as an artist of the so-called Sosaku Hanga art movement. Let me talk a little bit about this Kapatsuri technique. What is it precisely? It's a traditional old Japanese printing technique, actually rarely um, used, and it's a kind of stencil printing. And it has one uh, limitation, a technical limitation, the number of copies that can be pulled is limited. Well, on one side, that's good for collectors because you can be sure that when you buy a Kapatsuri uh, print, it doesn't have a huge, huge uh, edition or an unlimited um, publication. But on the other hand, of course, it makes a, an art print in Kapatsuri technique more expensive. Mori Yoshitoshi had worked as a textile designer with a technique called katatsome. Um, katatsome is used um, exclusively for creating textile designs and especially expensive kimonos. And it's similar to kapatsuri, so it was only natural for him uh, when he went into art printmaking to use Kapatsuri as his preferred printmaking technique. I know only out of my cuffs, well, two artists who apply, uh, who used this technique for their artworks. Well, one is Sadao Watanabe with his Bible stories. Uh, you may know him. And the other one is Paul Binney. Paul Binney from Scotland, but uh, working only uh, in Japanese prints. Uh, also, Paul Binney uh, made several designs, several prints in Kapatsuri technique. Today is February 26 of 2020. And in our current auction of Japanese prints, we offer uh, four prints by Mori Yoshitoshi. And I just want to take a little bit closer look at just one of them. That's sufficient. It shows a kabuki actor from the kabuki performance Sugaroku. Uh, here you have the artist's signature, uh, the red, that is Mori Yoshitoshi's seal. And here we have the edition. It's the copy number three out of um, a total edition of 50. And this print was published in 1977. Although Mori Yoshitoshi had started very late as an artist, uh, he became famous nevertheless, very successful. 
1984, he was awarded an honorary doctorate by Maryland University, and today his art prints are, can be found all over the world in all renowned museums. I give you a few names. The Tokyo Museum of Modern Art, the Museum of Modern Art in New York, the Art Institute of Chicago, or the Boston Museum of Fine Arts. Just four. That's enough. I'm sure you can find his art prints in many, many um, more museums. You find also good information about Mori Yoshitoshi on the internet. And um, I also want to show you um, two websites that are not from Artolino, but well, also others have excellent websites about Japanese prints. And I want to start with one that is titled The Levenberg Collection. It has a lot of biographies about Japanese artists and also other um, subjects of interest uh, focused on Japanese prints. Well, this is here um, the page, um, The Levenberg Collection, and here you see a, a photograph of the artist, what he looked like. Yeah, nice, friendly guy. And you see Levenberg uh, with his articles, he goes deeper, more in detail than Ortolino, has a lot of, of, of information. Okay, let's go down here a little bit. Here you see um, all the, the different uh, seals use, used by Mori Yoshitoshi. And down here, Mori Yoshitoshi, the artist at work. Lovely, lovely. Um, let's go to another website, an oldie but a goodie by John Fiorillo. John Fiorillo is a collector and I think in the meantime also a dealer. And well there is an article Modern Stencil Prince Kabatsuri Mori Yoshitoshi and Watanabe uh, Sadao. That's the guy that I mentioned before with his stories from the, the Bible. Um, John Fiorillo also goes deeper, is more in detail than uh, the biographies and the short bio biographies that um, were written and published by me. Well, this is uh, a print by Sadao Watanabe. Different style, but the same technique, Kapatsuri. Well, um, last but not least, um, let's show um, the Ortolino. Oh, there is one article, I think there are two or three articles about um, Mori Yoshitoshi. And we always decorate our articles with a lot of nice prints, prints that we sold um, in previous auctions. And when you click on one, well, an, it shows up with a large image and um, an extra tab with some extra information. Uh, you usually have the reserve for which it was offered and the sold price, the hammer, so-called hammered price, um, for which it was bought by collectors. Well, so much for today. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice week. Goodbye. Thank you.